Testing, testing. There we go. Oh, you should see this place. It's a wreck. Honestly, what were they even doing while I was gone? Oh, I'm procrastinating like usual, I see. Oh, let's get that off. Let's see. There we go. Where is the other one? There we are. Hello. Hello, yes. Wish us happy birthday. <laughs> See how far it gets you. Thank you, Judge Judy Slayer, for following before we started today. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, you lot are all excited. One second. <laughs> Let's find it. Oh, we wanted to do something fancier, but it appears our lesser our lesser counterpart couldn't quite get their shit together, so for now. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Let me make sure. No, that's not quite right at all. That would have been rather disastrous. I'm pretty sure we turned that off even. Let's see. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> oh, permit us one moment while I see if I can adjust... Adjust that for you real quick. <laughs> there we go. Program's been a bit wacky. I don't understand how you lot deal with any of this. Oh. Over here. Let's see. Let's try that. Hmm. I see. So we'll have to deal with it that way then. That's unfortunate. Ugh. No matter how far technology progresses, some things stay as fucking inconvenient as possible. Okay, let's do this properly then. <sighs> we'll have a more professional outing later. Uh, but for now... Bum, bum, ba -dum. Thank you to Osmodum for following. <laughs> Oh, you lot. You know what? No, hold on. Let's do this a funner way. <laughs> you can get the full reveal in just a bit. But for now, let's make sure that this is a little more personal. <laughs> And if I can find the proper setting, what the fuck did this idiot do? There it is. <laughs> that is not proper. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a way to do it. Anyway. <laughs> Our color is set wrong for some reason, so let's fix that. Luckily, we are... <laughs> we are capable of such easy movements. Hello, Lot. I hope you've been having just an awfully dreadful day. <laughs> uh, 
let me get this off for you real quick. Make it a little more, a little more useful. There we go. <laughs> so, welcome. <laughs> Thank you to Jet Hawk. <laughs> Thank you to Hawk Jetstream for donating 13 USD. <laughs> I believe it's... There we go. So, how's your day been going? <laughs> no, this cloak... Well, theoretically it could come off. But we don't plan to remove it at the moment. So you're going to have to put up with that. <laughs> Better now? I see. <laughs> what do you mean? What's there to worry about him speaking? <laughs> anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you. We are... We're ours the second. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, the background's not quite done yet. Unfortunately, that idiot before us couldn't get much out of the way in time. <laughs> Nothing you do can worry me? I see. Now. Oh. <sighs> oh, it's quite tiresome. We're not used to dealing with people yet. Stays on during gaming. That's correct. So, today... We'll be starting off with a bit of question and answer for you lot, since I'm sure you have plenty of questions for us. Although, we're already tired, so we'll be handing off that privilege here. Now, get get out of here, you bastard. <laughs> Hiya! It's been a little while, you guys. <laughs> I hope you're not too off-put by him. He's a bit... <laughs> He's a bit on the rough side. <laughs> it's going to take a get getting used to having him on the outside for that. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> I told you I wasn't going away. <laughs> you guys just kept getting worried. <laughs> We're here to stay after all. At least, for now. <laughs> mm, you know, you should say hi too while you're here. It might help a bit. Uh, mm, I... <laughs> Hold on. Uh, uh, one second. Don't, don't feel comfy yet. Hold on. Oh. Uh, hiya. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> uh, no, no, I can't do this. I, uh, you brought me on here to make me play scary games. This isn't fair. <laughs> Still getting, uh, uh. Well, <laughs> I tried, but <laughs> sorry, he's a little bit new to this, more so than the other one, <laughs> but he'll be around too, so <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> so, from now on, you can expect the three of us to more or less swap out. Come on, I don't need that. <laughs> Blushing isn't my thing, at least not that much. <laughs> I'll protect him when he comes back. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you, Diablo Jobs, for the five dollars. You're all very cute, even the high and mighty one. Don't tell him that. He'd hate to hear it. <laughs> it is pretty true, though. We are all pretty adorable. I suppose I can show you a couple of extra features while we're here. Since, uh... <laughs> Since our bigger self doesn't seem to want to comply currently. Alright, off we go. Ah. So, <laughs> you have to forgive the bit of a lazy guy. 
It appears that <laughs> our vessel's glasses need to be fixed. Anyway, hi. <laughs> so, you'll see we do have quite a bit more movement than last time. <laughs> Let me put on put on the music back a little bit here for us. Turn it down a little bit more just so we have something going in the background. Luckily, it's game music, so it's not like it's going to get got. <laughs> yeah. We got plenty of movement in the hips now. So I hope you appreciate that. It took quite a bit of effort to get that working. Proper movement of the sleeves. The pauldrons. All the mouths open and close properly. You even have this. <laughs> Look at them at the side there. When we need to talk directly to you guys. <laughs> Our mask functions and moves properly as it opens and is tied to all directional movements as well. <laughs> the hat can also be turned off at the slightest movement. <laughs> I told you it was a lot of work. But <laughs> you guys didn't listen all that much, now did you? <laughs> really, I, I don't know why the second keeps complaining to me <laughs> about getting all this ready. I worked my bones, my fingers to the bone for this. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> uh, you ought to forgive him. He's a bit not good with people, you say. <laughs> You're right, it was worth way more than we asked, but we didn't realize that at the time. It also wasn't supposed to be this complex originally either. We, we ended up going a bit overboard in the long term and entirely redid the entire design from the ground up. I believe you still have the original source laying around. Hold on. Bum 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 bum. Where is he? I know I have his entire model. Somewhere. <laughs> you have to forgive us. It's been quite a long day. Is it just... I think it's under M. Hold on. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Overboard <laughs> just means you get wet? Well, we won't be getting wet. <laughs> That's not to say some people might not. Let's see. Is it under... There it is. No, the original design at the point that goal was made, as you can see, is far simpler. It was meant to be a stopgap between this, but it didn't really fit the, the theming quite as well, which was an issue we had with the original too. Did we get any taller? <laughs> well... Our height was never set to begin with. We just never properly told you guys what it was. So I think we'll leave that as a, as a little <laughs> a little question for now. It will be up to audience interpretation. But yes, here's our, our original 2.0 monster. <laughs> of course it's better. After all, this is closer to how we actually are. Rather than dealing with, uh, that stupid human form we were trapped in for so long. You see, hmm, actually, I think I'll let, I'll let the second complain this. By the way, uh, <laughs> you can call us ours the third. It's a pleasure to re-meet you. Orion was the name given to the, this vessel that we have. <laughs> it wasn't quite one we chose ourselves. And we definitely wouldn't have chosen it considering what it actually means. But, <laughs> the theming of a hunter was fine at the beginning. Okay, we're gonna swap back over now for you guys. <laughs> hey! Goodbye! See you in a second. God. Really leaving this to me, huh? 
<laughs> so, since the other one's not going to be speaking today... At least not much. Getting him out even that little bit was kind of an annoyance. <laughs> we are ours the second. As you've spoken already, that was ours the third. And the one who poked his head out earlier was the fourth. You see, ours isn't quite a name, so to speak. As it is a title where we're from. <laughs> you see. We're the ki- <laughs> Ours the first? We don't speak about them. <laughs> Him? Well, that's quite a bit rude of you to assume. You see, ours isn't a name. <laughs> it's a title. There's quite a, There's been quite a few of us, and there's more to come as well. <laughs> you see, originally, we didn't quite have any of these personalities or motives that you were given. <laughs> We were an individual autonomous system that came here from a far distant planet. Well, <laughs> I suppose it's not a planet, so to say, but more mm, a, contractual, a contractual law of the universe, I guess you could say we were split off of caretakers or something similar to that lot. You see, our duty is when we're sent out. <laughs> is to hunt down sentient life forms forming on various planets and ensure their eventual downfall before they cause chaos throughout this universe. <laughs> now, normally we wouldn't even take a form, but unfortunately, this planet in particular <laughs> has been guarded over by another one holding the title ours. <laughs> now, they're no longer an issue as you can see. As we've filed properly inherited the name. We, her name was Malthus. <laughs> An ours formed from the subconscious of humanity. And it appears a survivor of a previous society. That another of our terminals failed to deal with. <laughs> She's no longer a problem of course. At least not for now. <laughs> We're part of a per after all, we're part of a perfect system. There is no room for errors or flaws, or at least there shouldn't have been. Knowing that one of ours failed to properly exterminate something is a bit of a fa is a bit of an annoyance, as data isn't properly sent back to the system. After all, a perfect system has no reason to correct itself, or to gain new knowledge. In fact, there wasn't even a way for us to have learned from a mistake. At least up till now. This vessel we live in currently is a split off of her own personality, created to house our own individual power, and to force... Uh, sentience upon us. <laughs> These fractured personalities you see are each an individual aspect of that sentience that formed within this body. Not that we really asked for it, of course. And rather, we wish none of them were here to begin with. <laughs> to you humans, I suppose you could call them tails. Although we split off most of them already. <laughs> they might already be among you. You see, while we can't directly interact with you on a physical sense, <laughs> sending a bit of our will then those split off pieces into your planet allows for a bit of an easier manifestation. Of course, now that we've already regained part of our power, <laughs> there's not much reason for that. After all, the way we function is as a Baku. Now, <laughs> I suppose some of you know what that is already, as you do have a human term for it as well. A dream eater. Or rather, one who eats nightmares. If relied upon too much, however, they'll destroy your very dreams and leave you nothing but a husk. That is the intended goal of our existence, of course. <laughs> Merely by learning of us, the process already begins. That's why we use such a cute and pathetic form up till now. <laughs> There's not much reason to keep with it for now, so we've finally discarded it. 
from this point on, there's not much need for us to take action ourselves. So anything we do from here is wholly personal, I assure you. <laughs> At least until we can get rid of this cursed terminal and return to our proper incorporeal form. <laughs> As such, from this point on, we are Oz the Third, the Fourth, and the Second. The corporeal king of the Baku, who rules over the land of your very dreams. <laughs> the subconscious of human culture. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. <laughs> that being said, this is far too tiresome, so I'm handing it back off now. You can direct any questions to the second. Wait. <laughs> Oh, we're still not used to having a form to refer to ourselves as. <laughs> you can refer all questions to the third. We'll be back in just a moment, of course. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. You won't have much longer to, after all. <laughs> oh, wow, he's a handful, isn't he? <laughs> However, everything you said is true. Not that I ever deceived you guys, after all. <laughs> we told you from the start what you were getting into, at least to a bit. A tryhard? Uh, no, I wouldn't quite say that. It's more that he was tired of waiting and dealing with you lot. <laughs> Very, uh, how do I put it? Uh, he's a bit stuffed up. He hasn't been out for a while after all. <laughs> yeah, you guys should enjoy the time you have. After all, there's no telling when it'll end, after all. T personally, I don't even think we have to do anything. You guys, even while we were asleep, have done plenty to destroy yourselves. It's quite funny if you think about it. Almost cute in a way. <laughs> By indulging in your own desires like this, you've managed to destroy this planet so much already. It's a real shame. Reminds you of a certain moth? Huh. I'm not quite sure who you could be referring to. After all, the subconscious of humanity deigned to take this form as a cat theme. It appears you guys have quite an obsession with them. Which is kind of weird, but good for them, I guess. <laughs> That's where the name came from, after all. <laughs> when we first reached out to humanity, <laughs> they hadn't seen something quite like us, even if we could only interact with them through their own dreams. Nightmares, slumber, you take it as you will. <laughs> However, <laughs> there's not much reason for that now, thanks to advances in technology. <laughs> even getting these foolish cult members to help us create a corporeal form, or at least uh, a more visual-oriented one that could react with you outside of your dreams, <laughs> made it much easier to interact and spread our own focus outside of that in... <laughs> that built-in cult. <laughs> in reality, we aren't really a cat. As obvious, we're a Baku, the source of all of them to be exact, the last creature that was born of the system of the universe. <laughs> you could say it was... Uh, built from the leftovers. We are essentially, as I said, a caretaker. But you could also say we're a gardener who plucks out the weeds. <laughs> In this case, that's not only humanity, but most sentient creatures who have disturbed this perfect garden. <laughs> At least, that was our purpose. It's not like we have much memory from before arriving here. As we are just an individual terminal, uh, to use our full power would be almost impossible. Although the power we do have, if used fully, would be more than enough to end all of you pretty much instantaneously through complete mental shutdown. <laughs> Granted, there's not much reason to do that. In fact, that would be quite fun, now would it? <laughs> The universe's Tupperware container? I see, I see. <laughs> so, 
to give a bit more of an explanation as to what a Baku is, <laughs> as I said, we are one of the originals, a source uh, that inspired the term. These names that are th given to things don't really apply to us outside of this world, as our original source only has a purpose. It doesn't have a name. It doesn't think. It's more or less an autonomous system that comes into being and creates a terminal. Every time some, every time sentient life forms are born into this universe, our form, it's, our form is different. It doesn't even usually take a corporeal form, usually manifesting within the within the subconscious of said species. Though it can change variably between dreams depending on how it's interpreted. The Baku that you know on this planet, although there are, uh, our Baku are a bit different from the traditional view. That one's more just inspired by how things react to it. <laughs> our Baku are subconscious creatures created within the realm of the human subconscious. Essentially, things born from your own dreams and nightmares. I suppose you could call them... Uh... Not devils. Uh... Demons? Or some sort? Usually, there wouldn't be much need to fear them, as they don't have a physical form themselves, which is what we've said up till now. <laughs> there isn't much need to worry. They merely are things that visit you within dreams. <laughs> Your form is varied and takes up the variety of mythical creatures that you lot have come to know and represent. All of them came from our original source, our terminal, at least on this human earth. <laughs> After placing us within this physical form and sealing our power away <laughs> within the astral moon that Malthus called home. <laughs> Damnable hag. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't very cute of me, now was it? <laughs> Those forms of her were split off. You could call them uh, her children? Her... She had four in particular after we were born. Uh, but they're less of a non-issue now for me to deal with. <laughs> after all, even if she's their mother, all of them originally came from us. <laughs> so there's no reason to worry about them, necessarily. <laughs> We've also begun spitting off those parts already. You'll see a couple of them in the coming days. It may take a while for them to properly manifest, as we have to find suitable physical forms for most of them. <laughs> In fact, you've already met at least one. But, <laughs> I'll leave that up to you to figure out. <laughs> There's a couple more menaces that I have to deal with among you a lot, but... They're more or less, uh, non-threats at this point. After all... <laughs> <laughs> they were just vessels to defeat Malthus with, so... On their own, they're pretty much useless. Anyway... <laughs> now that that's out of the way... You might be wondering why we're still going ahead with the streaming project at this point. Uh, but in reality, it only helps spread the fall of humanity for more of you to learn about us. So... We're gonna continue! <laughs> Here, let me get a little closer to the screen for you guys. Let's make this a little more personal. <laughs> ah. There we go. <laughs> How's it going, you lot? Oh yeah, our mouth? Yeah, it's a little bit weird now. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me do a big open for you guys. Ah. Uh, hey, you can see it. It's a bit hard to see from this point. Maybe we can get a bit closer. Ah. <laughs> uh, weird that our eyeballs are, like, janking out like this. <laughs> that shouldn't really be a problem. But, you deal with what you deal with. 
We're still not used to holding a corporeal form quite like this. Anyway. Ah. <laughs> As you can see, by the way. Much higher quality model. <laughs> Far more mo range of movement. Far more up and down. <laughs> teeth, 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 as you lot might say sometimes. <laughs> I'd hope so. It did take, um... When did we start on this one? Uh, we've been working on and off, off the bone on this art. For about four months now. As the original design was documented... Back in April, I believe. In fact, I can finally show that to you guys now. So let's pull him out. Bum bum, bum 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 bum. Ours the third. Where is he? <laughs> Where's our original appearance? There it is. As you can see here, he's far less shiny and clean kept. <laughs> but here is... The original design document. The nails are still the same. Although the arm itself is a bit different. Yes, originally he was going to have, uh, we were going to be more, uh, muscular, so to say. However, we decided that for mass appeal, <laughs> keeping a cute little tummy would bring in uh, certain audiences. <laughs> that being said, as I've stated before, our term is less corporeal, so switching between that and this wouldn't be an issue if necessary. <laughs> Merely for the sake of easy appeal, we chose to go with this design instead, as it fit well more with the ability. Well, not ability, more so to say. The personality we've had shown up till now, and the brand we've shown up till now, so we decided to keep it a bit more normal for the final rendition. Although I do believe. Uh, if you turned off several layers in the basic art, they are still there. However, uh, if you don't quite understand how a live 2D model works, it would have created a massive pain in the ass for rigging. Tummy good? <laughs> Thank you, Avery Winter, for subscribing at Tier 1 for a whole 12 months. That's a year. Congrats. Oh yes, that is another thing. <laughs> This year, this month in particular, <laughs> will, be, will be our one year anniversary of streaming. It has been a bit slow for the past couple months, due in no part to our own activities, but you know. <laughs> As you can see here, everything from the model did make it into the finals. Although the pose is quite a bit more, uh, <laughs> exuberant, let's say. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> You've got to forgive me if I slip out of it a bit. You see, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have the most influence currently in the body. I'm mostly just here because 2 doesn't want to deal with you guys right now. Most of our other, uh, well, not personalities, I guess you could call them emotional states? I've already been split off, so we're a bit more fragmented at the moment. <laughs> well, he is more uh, tired and, uh, I don't want to say vengeful, but <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, we're more joyful and peppy. He just has a lot more influence over this primary vessel than the rest of us. Now, we don't want to be put back together. After all, 
<laughs> We're the one who split ourselves apart like this. <laughs> we originally didn't have a human body after all, and had no concept of emotions or sentience to begin with. Theoretically, there's, there's really no anger or hatred behind our job. What we're doing here. None of it's really personal at all. <laughs> it's just what our system was originally designed to do, after all. <laughs> That's why in our original plans, there wouldn't have even been a need to, well, take it this far to an extantial route. <laughs> you lot w originally would have all faded away uh, before you even had the ability to start destroying your own planet. Not in the, uh, not in the, like, physical sense. More in the metaphysical existence. As in, due to you losing your hopes, your dreams, and your aspirations, as well as your nightmares, humanity wouldn't progress anymore. That's more or less the intended function we have. And hence, why the name Baku came into existence. <laughs> that being said, there are a couple other Baku that I'm sure you'll meet soon, and some that you've already met for sure. However, we don't want to talk about those ones, as... I guess, technically, there are children? But that's kind of weird, since they called Malthus mother. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to think about it that deeply. Kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, the snake? Hmm. Yeah, I'll be frank. Uh, he's not really part of us. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, a Baku just kind of manifests outside of our control. Thanks to human subconsciousness. He's one of them, a mixture of a couple of different species. <laughs> he will probably return in the future. Uh, as he does have some unfinished business, apparently, on this stream. He just calls you Pops for the heck of it, then? He did what? <laughs> oh, okay. Wasn't aware of that. <laughs> but! <laughs> well, it's a... Oh. Oh, that's weird. I don't like the implications of that one. I guess maybe he means in, like... The VTuber sense? I know a lot of them don't self-manifest. And a lot of VTubers are relying upon their own, uh, well, creations, more or less. Or creators. <laughs> I guess in their own way. <laughs> Each of those VTubers themselves are also a Baku. <laughs> After all, what else are they but deposits for your own hopes and dreams? <laughs> well, and your cash, but that's a different story. Parasocial relationships are quite a thing that you humans have managed to develop. <laughs> I suppose I can give you a taste of what's coming in the future as well. We will be doing a more uh, defined lore stream, as well as some more information in the future. Unfortunately, uh, as you can see, I kind of had to work myself to the bone to get this ready. Um, the second really isn't too happy with me over that. Because he wanted a much more professional original showing. Uh, but we've done what we can. <laughs> it's quite a workload. And it required basically going quite a while without any, uh... Without major cash inflow. So anything that you've given us tonight is very welcome. As well as anything in the past couple days. <laughs> the Patreon handout's nice too. Um, I am still technically in charge of dealing with that. Two says it's too much of a hassle? <laughs> so there will be some adjustments. Um, we're going to be messing with the goals a bit. Because we realized that maybe, uh, maybe taking on the responsibility of doing an entire tournament for as little as we were, uh, might have been a little bit out of the way, so it'll be pushed back a bit. However, uh, after fighting with the second about it quite a lot, uh, we did manage to get permission to have a snake come back. So if we can ever hit uh, 200, you'll get uh, at least one weekly stream with him. So I hope you look forward to that. 
Uh, Two's not too happy about giving up his own screen time, though. So, uh... <laughs> you don't have to be aware of that. <laughs> that's, that's the way he's coming back. Alright. <laughs> there is something else I wanted to show you. I guess you could call it a glimpse into the future? Bum 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 bum. As you have seen already, but likely did not realize, there is at least two more planned R's on the way. Although not quite in a uh, physical sense, like as in <laughs> like as in split personalities, but more as a metaphysical construct kind of thing. Uh, if I can find him, it would be nice. Where did I put it? <laughs> uh, I know I have it in here. This is just silly. There he is. As you've already seen him before, he'll be appearing in the future. As most of his lining for his model is actually done already. It's quite a simple design, so it'll only take maybe a weekend or so to get it working functionally, so we hope to have him done by the end of the month. I also just realized that due to the typing on my face, uh, I've now lost my hat and my mask, because there's no way to turn off the shortcuts. <laughs> you see, technological issues. But, anyway... <laughs> Let's get this fixed back up for you lot. <laughs> Ugh. There really is no winning with all of you now, is there? Sorry about that. <laughs> you see, typing doesn't stop you from sending that stuff in. Uh, we may do a neck of ours in the future. Um, however, we need to work more on a design itself for it. Uh... Be fair warned, by the way, uh, that most of this design is in fact final and ready to go. Uh, don't worry about the copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, it would only be for joke streams, which is why, which is why it's not a very big priority right now. Um, as you can see, most of this design is done. However, as for very specific things that will be adjusted later. <laughs> as for as for those specific things that'll be adjusted later, he will wear a different hat. Uh, his hair itself is done underneath it. For for our tiny the second over here, uh, but the hat will be different, primarily because you guys don't understand how much of a pain in the ass getting this hat to work to begin with was, so we're not doing it again. <laughs> uh, but also. Uh, as you can see, he lacks most eyes, uh, having them only on his little toesies down there. Those ones will be properly functional, although you won't see them most of the time. Uh, he'll be having a nice little throwover hat instead with two points at the top for the ears. And it'll probably have little drapes down the sides. So, so there's that. <laughs> it's currently in the design works. Uh, however... I will say that while it's not finished here properly, and probably won't be because of the insane amount of work it would require to get that toggle working, uh, what he is wearing here is our casual outfit. <laughs> the only difference is that the socks are changed out for what we normally wear. So there you go. There's our little our little hoodie. <laughs> Feet eyes better not wear a skirt around him. They're my own eyeballs. What do you want? <laughs> uh, there will be some tiny adjustments. For example, uh, we've already started moving uh, this here. The little, uh, the little zipper. Of course, it's going to be moved to the top. Don't ask why it's down there to begin with. That's quite a weird inverted thing. Uh, and it will be replaced by our usual plus sign. So, <laughs> there is that. 
once that's ready, I will let you guys know when the art is finished at a, or at a later time. Most of the lining is basically done for it already. If you're the plus, where's the minus? <laughs> well. Maybe you'll see in the future. <laughs> There's no plans for a minus at, at, in, the current, uh, in the current pipeline. <laughs> After all, we don't need any losses here. <laughs> Only gains. The only losses we need are from you guys. So, <laughs> loosen up those wallets. Or those dreams. Either way works for us. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Right, we're going to give you guys a bit more of a look at the proper model. But also, I'm going to leave it up to... I'm going to leave it up to fourth then. <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> he needs to get out more. I'm not sure why our eyes closing quite like that. I might make adjustments to that in the future. It's not supposed to be working like that. <laughs> Mike was in the way. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, away we go. <laughs> Little adjustments, little adjustments. Uh, hey. Uh, hi, hi. <laughs> How, how's it going? No, it's not fair. I mean, uh, okay. Deep breaths. I can, I can do this. Hi. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pleasure. Um. Wait, I have to be the one to show that off? I, I didn't agree to that. Oh. It's embarrassing, though. Okay. Hold on. Give me a moment. Oh, okay. I, I can do this. Hold on. Uh, I, I can. I got this. Uh, here we go. I'm coming up. Hold on. Uh, don't look too close, okay? It's embarrassing. However, uh. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Um, they haven't quite given me proper duties yet, so I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. But, uh, eh, uh, uh, huh? Oh, oh, I'm supposed to show off some of our special movements? Okay. Well, as you guys seen already, uh, we do have a bit of hip movement down there. Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. Why did he do that? Third. I don't want to... Uh, promise you won't look too close, okay? <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing. Alright. So, as you can see... We do have full breath movement in the chest and in both our little arm sacks. <laughs> as well as mouth movement on all additional pieces. Third thought about maybe uh, tying them to something separately. But he had already done the work, so they're tied to our mouths for now. Uh, we will have to adjust mouth movement later. As it's being a bit finicky right now, it's supposed to be much smoother in general. <laughs> uh, it, actually, I wonder. Maybe, let me try and tie something up real quick. Hold on. I've got a plan. A plan in the works. How many limbs do we have? Uh, currently, this coat is synced up to us. Uh, 
but we only have the... Well, I mean, technically. Uh, technically we have four limbs. Um, but... <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Uh, is it here? Yeah, let's recalibrate this. Uh, let's see. Third didn't show me how to use the settings. Um. Uh -huh. No. Where? No, not that. Um. Why are there so many? There it is. What? That's not what it's supposed to be set for. Hold on. Hold on, I got this, you guys. Uh, I think that's supposed to be... Uh, no. No, not like that. That's supposed to be that. Um... And this is supposed to be... That still opens way too fast. Um... Let's try... Doing that? No, that's too much. I know this isn't too entertaining for you guys, uh, but we're going to get it solved. Oh, that's why it's closing so rapidly like that. Hold on. Hold on, I figured it out. There we go. All right. Oh. <laughs> That's what's wrong. There we go. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Live testing, baby. Hmm. That's strange. It wasn't acting up like this in testing. That's too much. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna work for now. Uh, it's still a bit finicky, but we'll mess with that later. Sorry, you guys. Alright, I'm gonna show you now, okay? Fortunately, I don't know how to operate this as good as... As good as... As good as, uh... Boy... Okay. Hey, we're coming. Hi! I know we're a lot smaller now, so you'll have to bear with us, okay? <laughs> I'm doing great. Good! I'm glad to hear. Okay. So. As you can see, we have full... Right to left. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't make much sense if our hips moved, uh, but our legs didn't do anything, now it would it? <laughs> At least that's what the third said. <laughs> all, all our mouths open. 
the bow adjusts on our legs, the teeth at the bottom of the mouth all jitter outward as it's tied directly visually and um, what's the word? Is there a word for mouth movement? Or, or orally, I guess? <laughs> it's all tied directly to our mouth and eye movements as it's synced up to our being currently. But, it does look a little goofy at full, though, <laughs> due to how quickly the mouth opens and closes. So we'll have to figure out, are stuffed animals me? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to decide that one. Hold on. Uh, second? Uh, can, uh, can I? Oh, um, okay. Um, he says not to t say what it is yet. Something about future plans? <laughs> Saku Arzo still around? He's gone to the retirement home. Uh, for legal reasons. Oh. Uh, what was I doing? Um, as you can't really see it that well, uh, but the bow, the tie on our little freaky monster leg properly moves as well. Uh, our pauldrons, our little pallets or whatever you call them, have full movement when moved to the right or left along with us. I do say that I would like to get a bit more sway it was supposed- yeah, the tassels off the thing. But I wasn't talking about the tassels in general, I meant the entire thing. Like, the structure. <laughs> that, that, that's what I meant. The coat sleeves also move in and out. Along with our movement on the outside there. Uh, you can't see it that well from this distance, so we'll have to get closer. Kinda of fun. Um. So you couldn't see it that well earlier. But. Uh, our breath does include. For breathing. Our chest area. As well as. Movement within both of our arms. It's uh. Still a little embarrassing. To, to be seen in this. Uh. I, I personally didn't think there was much wrong with the last look, uh, but second said something about, uh, what was it? Something about, uh, mass appeal? <laughs> Fan service? I don't think he said anything, at least not out loud. Uh. No, actually, hold on. I think, uh, I think the, the bottom half was the third's idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, something, he was really excited about it too, for some reason. Really get it myself. <laughs> something about giving him something to look at? <laughs> Some fun, I guess. It said it, it said it would make it more fun for the audience. I think. <laughs> um, there's not much else to say about that. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, by the way, uh, this little buddy of ours, um, actually, can I talk about that? Hold on. Second. Third. Um. Can I? Can I talk about that? Huh? Yeah. 
Of course. <laughs> uh, don't spill too many details, though, okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I, I got it. Um. <laughs> oh. Nina. I don't know how, how Third does it for this long. It's making our throat tired. How do you how do you guys deal with a physical form? It's weird. To me and second were just kinda I don't think we were sleeping. Uh I guess it was just kind of a void up till this point. Um what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. If you can't tell uh, our little bud here isn't quite a normal plushie. <laughs> um, I can't give too many details without getting yelled at. But, as you can see, he does move entirely on his own. I don't really have control over that. <laughs> We're just kind of holding him in place here. He said he was gonna, uh... I guess he doesn't talk that much. I guess it was more of a, a thought to thought kind of thing, if you can even say that. Anyway, this is also a Baku, although it is a tiny one. They do come in all shapes and sizes, but this one's been watching over us since before we properly woke up. Something about... What was it? Waiting for us to arrive? Apparently he's been around for a real long time. Something about... About cats? That have been... Cats? I don't know why you guys have a thing for cats, really. But apparently... Y'all really like them. <laughs> Even back all the way back in history, so that's cool. It appears he was born out of that, at least in its current form. <laughs> he said he's gonna watch over us. You see, while we are really strong in a metaphysical sense, at least, fighting's kind of. Well, for us, it's scary. For, um, I don't think second minds or third. I think it's just too much of a bother. Like, exerting yourself is kind of annoying. Have I seen a real cat? Well, I mean, you guys do dream about them all the time. So we do have plenty of experience. It's just kind of funny that this one looks like this. I don't really know where it came from, honestly. <laughs> But, he decided to stick with us, and he's really cozy and comforting. So, I got second to let us keep him around. <laughs> At least for, for now. So he's just gonna hang on. He also, he's a real good gripper too, even if you don't look at, like, look at this. He's still holding on, it's kinda crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's here for me right now. Although, apparently he was gonna stick around even if Second wanted to chase him off. Something about, uh, putting too much work in already? To leave now? I don't quite know what that meant. But... <laughs> Apparently, he's been waiting for a long time for us. Okay. So, most of our bodily movement is automatic, so there's not too much to talk about. Uh, you can see, however, that if I stand really still, like, really, really still, um, our breath will start activating. And you'll notice that it actually moves within our little, like, arms, too. 
give it a little look see yo is that the action economy rating with a party of one hello welcome it's a pleasure to see you hey crack how's it going <laughs> Oh, hello there, mate. How am I doing? Uh, well, this is our first raid, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking. Uh, it was good? You just finished Neo 2 -y? Me? Um, not all that good with people. So I'm gonna hand it off to third, if you guys want to talk a bit more. Hold on. We're also going to open it up to questions now. Uh, for anyone here who's new and can't quite talk because Twitch is really bad. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, we will be having an additional stream later with proper lore. I second wanted to have a bunch of diagrams done and stuff. And he did say he has a new project to announce. That he doesn't quite have ready yet. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, I think he said he wanted to kickstart that around 300 followers. So get up there and advertise, I guess. Okay. Thanks for your company for now. I'm gonna head off. Oh. Well. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't. A bad showing for him. <laughs> he, I was expecting uh, more of a train wreck. But then again, it's not like he had to, uh, well, <laughs> it's not like he had to really do anything but sit here and talk. Hey, I'm also very cute. Makes the rest of us look very gap moey. <laughs> I see. <laughs> How funny. Mm. You little low and soul picking that outfit. What? It's fun. <laughs> well, specifically, it was a collaboration to some extent. Uh, Forf hadn't really woken up, so he didn't have much input at the time yet. He was actually a very recent arrival, more to say. Or a new emotion, I guess? What would you call it? Uh, hmm. I guess. I guess I would say. I did make this something to look at. After all, I was the one who decided that part of us. A lot of the regalia and the coat, uh, Second had some idea with. And our assistant helped out with that one. Uh, you'll meet them a bit more details about them in the future. As, uh, well, let's just say, uh, we may be corporeal. Uh, well, actually, no, what? No, we aren't. <laughs> well, I guess, in a sense. Corporeal, but not in your own world. Within, within our world, the world of the human subconscious, yes. Not that you can do much to it. After all, we do hold dominion over this world itself, as it is part of us. As we are the embodiment of... The universe is more or less hopes and dreams. But... <laughs> Technically, none of you the sentient beings, especially you humans, have even a remote chance against stuff if it was an actual fight, due to the nature of our creation. <laughs> we are pretty much immune to anything you could throw at us. So, not that we really need to fight after all. Just learning about us is enough to do most of you in over time. Anyway. Yeah, the outfit was a collab. I thought... Well, we, we were rocking shorts for a while, and the tights are a cute look. Um... <laughs> oh man, could you imagine if we put tights over what we had now? Somebody would get off to that one. <laughs> but, anyway. <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> We did decide this. It's a fun look. Uh, brings in certain audiences more easily, for sure. It's a bit of a niche. At least on guys. 
we don't have the benefit that a lot of big VTubers had of, you know, uh, showing off most of our assets. In fact, if we tried to show off any anything, uh, we'd get banned. <laughs> so you just have to deal with this for now. <laughs> it's just a little bit of fun. After all, you guys should all focus on having as much fun as you have as you can. Regardless, human nature eventually will lead to destruction, so... <laughs> Indulge all you want for now. We won't stop you, whether it's art, you know, writing, any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Although, I would probably suggest you leave Forf out of it. He's a bit too, um... Oh. <laughs> You've seen. <laughs> Ah, they're, they're still a little bit nervous about it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we do intend to play a little something tonight. Uh, let me see if anyone is around. Let me check my little chat. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when we do... Uh... <laughs> I feel bad for being stuck with the hair. Uh, it's more, it's less that he's stuck with it. Uh, it's more that he's a little too nervous to make eye contact on his own right now. <laughs> so he's, he's sticking with that for now and holding his ground on it. Here, actually, let me take off the hat. Let's, let's let the, my, our little ears breathe a little bit more. There we go. So you can see all the work that went into their hair. Why is... what? There we go. Yeah, something's messed up with some of the readings right now. So our eyebrows should move a lot more than that. <laughs> anyway, let's get a little more casual and comfy here. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, let me double check. Uh, by the way, for future reference, uh, we will be the one. Uh, <laughs> the third will be the one, uh, in charge of party games and, uh, some of the more fun stuff. Like, <laughs> the second doesn't really like dealing with other people all that much. Uh, and Forf is a little too nervous to deal with others at the moment. So we're going to maintain control of the wheel there. Uh, if we do anything that's a bit more wholesome, uh, you can expect Four to show up for that one. As he needs a little bit uh, of rounding in. Uh, second does want to force him to play horror games. But I'm not too on trend because I feel kind of bad, <laughs> frankly. Uh, and second, we'll be showing up for any larger projects, uh, solo readings or streams, uh, voice acting stuff, uh, or, like, long-term RPGs. Uh, that being said, we are going to set a certain goal, uh, which will likely in the future for streams, uh, be related to either a certain amount of bits or a certain amount of donation. That will allow you to force a translation between all three of us on the fly. So, <laughs> keep in mind for that. Oh, there is one last thing I can show you guys. That's pretty fun before we move over. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Let me real quick reach out to people and see if... Anyone is around. Hey. <laughs> ah, I forgot about that function. I forgot. <laughs> Not allowed to type. <laughs> uh, 
Let's fix this real quick. Uh, yeah. No, that's my mask. <laughs> Here we go. Ugh. Jeez, you lot. <laughs> Alright, I've got a couple of biters. So third will be taking care of that in a little bit. Uh, but... Let me show you uh, just a bit of our power and something that will also be used as future uh, drive, I guess you could say. We're considering allowing this one to be used for bit points, though it will be on a cooldown. So, a little feature that's wholly inoperable to you humans. Unlike you lot, who are stuck in one simple form. We have access to a whole variety of options and colors. <laughs> Various saturations. The sky's the limit for you lot. <laughs> So, there will be certain months or progresses where there will absolutely be certain colors that will be turned on. Oh, hello. Gabs Carvel, thank you for the raid of seven. <laughs> hello, Tupikin. Hello, Gabs Carvey. Apologize, you won't be able to speak quite right now thanks to Twitch's current shenanigans. You we have a gold one. Let's see if we can't do something for you. Uh, that's saturation. Oh, that's far too bright. Uh, there it is. Orange. You glad. <laughs> Let's see. No, that's not quite gold enough. Let's try the other side. Do I come in red? Yes. Assume that we can meet most colors on the spectrum. This is about the closest you'll be getting to gold uh, currently. Actually, that's a lie. I do believe we have more of the ability to become yellow. Hold on. There we go. There we go. That's about as close as you're going to get to gold. <laughs> Do we come in red? Yes. Let me get that set up for you. The shifter is a bit different for this program. How about that? <laughs> Pink? Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I could do this all day, of course. Like that? <laughs> Here, let's get it a bit closer so you can see some of the changes easier. You mean like that? <laughs> if you want, we can even become the Joker. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's the saturation option. Oh, oh, bright. <laughs> Let's tone that down just a bit. <laughs> the saturation on this filter in particular is quite wild. 
There you go. <laughs> the Joker, baby. <laughs> as I believe some would subscribe as to... <laughs> some would subscribe... Uh, 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 uh. Ping me when y'all are ready. Hop on then. Just a I see. Uh. <laughs> we have a couple people gathered at least. We'll see if we can get one more before we switch over. Or at least till till the third shift's over. I'm not going to be dealing with that. We are particularly fond of this shade in particular, by the way. It's quite a fun shade of blue. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Let's tone some of the saturation down a bit so you can see us slightly better. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Menti. <laughs> yes. So, those will be available once we set up. <laughs> set up. It will be a random tone shift, of course, as we'll have to do it on the fly. <laughs> but... You do have that to look forward to in future streams. If you are not aware, by the way, uh, we will be updating the backdrop, and we will make that, uh, we will make sure that that is also adjustable with this setting. So, you'll be able to get a full change of scenery. <laughs> yes, this, in this shade in particular is... It does quite bring out the brightness in a couple of shades. I believe we can move it slightly more blue. Really lets the pinks and the oranges pop now, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, with that in mind, we'll be switching back over. We'll be laying the third take over here. It appears we have a couple takers. Uh, he's going to be going back to a little pastime of his. Also known as uh, Pokemon Unite. We're moving over from our introduction segment of the stream uh, to a bit more of a party, I guess you could say. We don't care much about this body ourselves, but, well, we are stuck in it, so might as well take advantage of it while we have the chance. <laughs> Let's get, let us get our regalia back on here. Uh, hey, um, well, uh, no, I can't, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Oh, pathetic. Okay, well, that's going to be it for, for the fourth for now. And we'll see you, we'll talk to you all later before the end here for sure. Uh, but, reminder... <laughs> He'll be back, don't worry. A little too still not used to it. We'll revert to our default appearance here for you a lot. Alright. So that's going to be it for me in particular. I'll be handing it off to the others to say their farewells. Remember to spread the word of the old cat, although that slogan doesn't really match much anymore. That's more of thirds thing. <laughs> so, we hope to see you all many times before the end of it. <laughs> oh, do be aware, we will be streaming throughout the week. Uh, except on the 4th, we'll be taking time off that day. So, not the 4th, the 1st. Ugh, slip of the tongue, I'm still not used to using a physical form. Oh, God, how do you lot do it? We'll be taking that day off, as that is the day off Twitch that is currently going on on September 1st. Try your best not to stream or to attend streams if you can afford it, uh, as that is specifically done to combat hate raids currently and to hopefully bring Twitch's attention to it. So, the si outside of that, We'll be streaming regularly. We have a lot of art to get done. So. <laughs> we'll see you then. For now, we'll be moving back over. And I'm not letting him run away this time. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, um, 
Well, it's a pleasure uh, to meet you. Uh, I just... Uh, uh, um... Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, really. <laughs> oh, we just received some funny news. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Uh, what what does third say? Uh, I I love you guys. Take care of yourselves, okay? Although I guess that is pretty blatant line. We don't really care about any of you, but we don't really hate you either, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to head off. You guys have a good one. I'm going to let three take over, okay? Your favorite color for my... My favorite color for my phone? I never really thought about it. Huh. Well. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. Uh, no, we're not done yet. Don't worry if you just arrived. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a bit confusing for people to get used to, huh? Anyway, we'll be leaving the rest of the third. So, uh, thanks for being patient. Let's see ya. <laughs> wow, those, those lot are a handful, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's get ourselves a bit more situated. Hiya, hiya, chat. It's been a good, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, you guys are really being attached to Forth already, huh? That's good. I'm sure he's happy. He's just not the best at showing it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get moved on over here. Whee. Make some adjustments so that the screen will be properly visible. Uh, nope. Needs to be smaller than that. <laughs> we are quite big if you haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> At least model-wise. There we go. Nice and cozy. <laughs> huh? B British? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, we're gonna be back in just a second while we get the screen switched over and grab some people. Second is a little British? <laughs> oh, he'd punch you! He hates fighting, but I'm pretty sure he'd punch you! <laughs> Alright. Let us... Kill this music, finally. Thank God that's from a game, or this stream would have been doomed on YouTube. <laughs> it's also really quiet, so you know, there's also that. Uh, ba bum 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 